We have to have a little greeting ceremony here. Excuse all the activity up here, and feel free to come closer if you want. Some of these dogs know each other. <laughs> but even if they didn't, typically when a, a greyhound sees another greyhound, they get very excited because they're the only dogs that they've lived with and uh, been exposed to until they come off the track. Am I on? Anyway, um, I want to just tell you how it was that I got involved with greyhounds, and then I want to do introductions. Um, so again, my name is Betsy McGee, and I was working here at the Humane Society back in 1989 when we took in 19 greyhounds, former racing greyhounds. They had been housed at the former Letterman Army Research Hospital in the Presidio. And word got out that these dogs were going to be used by the Army for testing. And what they were doing was uh, experimenting with a particular compound that would accelerate healing of bones, fractured bones, so that soldiers in combat could get back to war more quickly. And so what they were planning to do with these greyhounds was to um, essentially break their legs, or in this case, saw into the femur bone, um, then apply the compound, give the dogs some time to heal, and then euthanize them, and then really break the bones to see if this compound had had an effect in making the bones stronger, etc. So that's what this research was going to be about. Um, but fortunately, a number of people got involved. There were protests. Um, media got involved finally, and the end result is that the dogs were surrendered. That's the very abbreviated story. But those dogs all came here to MHS, and they were all eventually placed up for adoption. And I had never met a greyhound until then. And here you go. Uh, I was so taken by these dogs because they were so calm, sweet, gentle, patient. I had just not seen any other dog like them. And we had other dogs at home at the time, but I told my husband Bill back then, when we have a place in our house for another dog, <laughs> I really want to rescue a greyhound. And so <laughs> we did. Um, in 1997, we adopted our first greyhound, Nick. And um, he was with us until January of this year. Um, he was two and a half when we adopted him, and he was 13 and a half when we had to finally put him to sleep. Um, he came to us from Florida. And I still break up thinking about him because he was so special. And we have now just have Cindy here. Um, she's our third greyhound, and she's four and a half. She came from a Colorado track, and fortunately for her, she ran one race, and that was the end of her career. Um, so she's been with us for um, about two and a half years. She came as a foster, but she never left. <laughs> and those of you who have fostered know just what I mean. Anyway, so um, I want to just ask the folks who are here to just introduce yourselves. Tell us, um, you know, your dog's name. Um, how long your dog has been with you, if you know your dog's background, where your dog came from, and so forth. 
Um, and then um, we're going to essentially take questions from all of you and I will talk a bit more about the situation with dog racing as it stands today. Um, why don't we start with you guys? Hi, my name is Elena and this is Jalen and that was her track name and we got her when she was four and Betsy was the person that came to our house to make sure it was okay. And she's, she's everything that a greyhound, what Betsy just described, she's very calm, very loving, very trusting. I can't imagine what happened to her. Uh, she ran 92 races in Colorado. She, so she was fast. <laughs> um, and she still is fast. <laughs> um, and she raced for two and a half years. And I know the owner's name and I have mixed feelings about him. Um, at least he gave her up and she came to, uh, to Foothill. And she's just wonderful. Thanks, Elena. We love her. Thanks. Her. My name's Bert. This is Doc. He was, uh, he was a stray in Sacramento. He was picked up on the street and I've had him for uh, a year. And he's just, just the best. Uh, he's somewhere between four and six. And he's got a number of scars, so he hasn't had the best life. But he's a really sweet dog. He likes everybody. He likes all dogs. And uh, he's pretty perfect. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Laurie, and this is Zeus. And um, I've had Zeus about four months. This is our fourth grade. We have two from Colorado, one from Arizona, and two from Florida. And he's just uh, the most social guy that you Possibly know that he loves people, cats, dogs, children, everything. He's just loves life. He's just absolutely, I just fascinated with him. We call him Edie now because he's not about to get out of the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he really is a, a, just a real wonderful, happy, beloved guy. He just loves life. And he plays with Cindy a lot, so. This morning, me and Cindy got together for a long <laughs> And he's just a wonderful, wonderful dog. I, I think greyhounds are just spectacular pets. They don't need a lot of exercise. They love to fly around with you. Um, he's very affectionate. And when I'm when he's looking for me, um, he come, walks all over the house looking for me. And if he finds me, then he looks all over the house for my sister Susan. So he's just a happy dog. He's a, he's a little bit of a Labrador in uh, Greyhound clothing, <laughs> especially social. 